this is the fastest way that I can unclog my extruder. Come down to utilities on a replicator, by the way. Come down to filament options and click unload right. So that's the side we're doing. Now, just while we're waiting for that to heat up, um, hopefully you can see there that I have the extruder kit, which you can see by this little arm here, that when you press down on that, there's actually a little roller bearing in there that presses against the filament. And it is a really reliable system, and I highly recommend um, getting one of them. Okay, now this thing is pretty much heated up. So what I do is I press down on the lever there, and then the filament comes out. So that's the old piece out. And then I come back down to the button here and you just press the OK button until it stops. OK, now it's starting to cool down, so I've got to move quickly. And what I do, now this is just what I do, and I'm not recommending anyone else do it, is I've got this bit of wire here. Uh, hopefully you can see there it's got like a little alligator clip on one end. It's just a long piece of wire. And I drop it down the top of my extruder, you press down on the lever, it's hard to do with one arm. Now remember that the motor in there is not operating, but it's still hot. You just push it down, and as you can see, it just squeezes right, it squeezes it all out, and bingo. So I don't actually even bother disassembling all this unit and taking that apart. My other video describes how that's done. And then, uh, then you're good to go to put some new filament in.